Hello and welcome my Korea Overland brothers and sisters. How are you today? My name is Ben and we got an Amazon box. That's right. We certainly do. And inside this box there are three items for the next three weeks for Overland Gear Reviews. But only one today. So today, short review with Gearland. Stay tuned everybody, because here we go. Alright everybody, welcome back. I am super excited. This is my first big Amazon box that I've uh, that I've ordered for us, for you, for me, mostly for me, but for you too because you get to see what I like, get to see what I am buying and what I would recommend for you. Don't forget to hit the sub and the notification button because weekly videos are coming your way Sunday night 4 p.m. KST. That's right. So, uh, I'm, t I'm too excited. I'm too excited. Um, so, hmm. Two others are going to stay in the box. One is coming out. Let me do this stealthily so you can't see it. I'm going to put it over there. There we go. Okay. I'll put it down there so it's nice and out of the way. Put that one down there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, um, let me explain. W well, let me explain what this is first. No, let me explain why I got this. Let me do the why before we do the what. So, what I wanted to do was uh, I, I went online and I wanted to buy a stainless steel Nalgene bottle. Um, I had one a long, long time ago. Absolutely loved it. Um, I think I lost it. It never just it, it didn't get destroyed, but I did lose it. So I wanted to get another one. And um, as I was looking around, uh, you know, Korean shopping was really for what I was looking for way too way too pricey. It was like seventy thousand won, sixty thousand won. So I thought, ah, nah, I'm not going to worry about it. Well, of course, I happened to get uh, myself hooked up with the Amazon affiliate link, and I started doing some digging around and came across this item, which was way more than just a bottle. And I feel like it's something that if I wanted to do some micro hike, some like doing something with micro weight where I wasn't, I didn't really have a whole lot on me, this might be a really good thing. But also, it kind of puts everything together and it keeps itself organized, which is great for me at least, little OCD. And, um, and also it's just, it's, it's compact and it does everything that I needed to do, plus some. And for the gear reviews that I do, I'm always looking for the plus. I'm always looking for that little bit extra. If you remember in the gear review that I did last week with the Wakul uh, water bag, it had those little extras, the little cleaning supplies, the tube that runs through. It's all about the little extras because I think that makes a huge difference in how we engage the equipment that we buy. Sure, it's okay to spend 50 or $60 on a stainless steel Nalgene bottle, but why would I do that when I can pay half as less and get twice as more? <coughs> Mind-blowing! Oh my god, it's so true. So, that's why I went ahead and bought this one, and I do think that this is going to be a good product for some of you. Uh, maybe not all of you, but for some of you, I think it's definitely going to be a good thing for me. So, without further ado, let's go to the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Um, seven reference in case you didn't know that. So this is Gearland, and this is a food grade stainless steel 40 ounce bottle, same as an Algene, includes a 25 ounce cup and lid, 
very nice. Uh, it also has a storage bag. And the, um, the, uh, uh, the, the whole thing kind of just fits together, right? It all kind of fits together. So uh, let me just read this. This is what's on the back here. So let me just read this here. It says the gearless stainless steel bottle and steel cup are perfect for the backpack, bug out bag, car, canoe, gym, or survival kit. The stainless steel cup is, a, is perfect to warm, uh, to warm coffee on a cold outdoor morning. Of course it is. Of course, like, yeah. Uh, the lid is secured with a detachable strap and should be removed prior to the application of heat. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about the system. And then up here, we have on the box a fairly, you know, it's a fairly good, eh, it's a cardboard box. What do you expect? Um, it gives the three pieces that is that are in the box. And let's go ahead and open it up. Now, so there's the box. I'll put the box inside the other box and keep all the boxes together. So this is what we have right here. So this is a very nice mesh bag. I really, the mesh bags are really starting to up their game. I gotta say, thank you, Gearland. This is great. Um, uh, the campfire stove that I have, the wood stove, has a nice, big, heavy mesh bag that all those pieces can go into, and I'm really liking what they're doing with those. So, A plus from me on that one. Now, the great thing about this little thing is there's one other item that I didn't tell you about. It's kind of another surprise, so stay tuned. All right, so um, I'm going to just take this out here, just on my desk. Actually, I'm gonna take that piece out there. All right, so here we go. We've got it all out. Well, it's coming out now, and there we go. Put that right there. Put this right there. Okay, and let's take this plastic off right here. Now, this is pretty, it's not heavy. Okay, that's the nice thing. It's not heavy, it's fairly lightweight. It has Oh, it doesn't hardly even hardly even smells. You know how you get that new smell? There's a little bit, a little bit of a new smell, but not too bad. Um, there is the. Hopefully you can see that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, very nice, uh, very nice um, lid on this. Really quite nice. Um, so that is that is brilliant. Now this is 40 ounces, so this is a great. Uh, yeah, this is, this is very heavy duty. Now, what you can do, of course, and one of the reasons why I like this is you can actually put your water in here and put this right into the fire and boil your water. That's why I like it. Because instead of having a separate teapot, which of course I do, well, duh, um, uh, if I don't want to bring that, I can just use this and I can either put this right on my stove or I can put it into the, uh, I can put it into the, uh, the fire, heat up my water, oil or boil if, it, if it's necessary. So I can boil the water, let it cool down and allow that and then I have drinkable potable water, right? The other thing is this thing here is removable. Right, so before you put it on the stove, before you put it in the fire, get the plastic off because you don't want it melting in the fire. Yeah, that would be bad. So there's the first piece. Second piece is a lovely steel cup. Oh my God, this is awesome. Now, a couple things about this that I love. Nice, first of all, foldable, lovely, nice handles. This becomes a mini pot, not just a cup. So if I've got soup or something that I want to make at camp, this, perfect. If I want to heat up some mac and cheese or some pasta, perfect. Like if I'm just on a solo trip, this is great. I now have a cup and I now have a small pot. 
The other nice thing about this, I hope you can see that here, is that there is actually um, measurements up along the inside of the cup. This is uh, a total of 25 ounces, which for us metric people, like me, 700 milliliters. And there's, you know, there's like lines for you. So perfect for that. And not to be outdone, we have a nice little uh, lid that can fit. Ooh, that fits nice. Yeah, I like that. Uh, it's got a nice little, uh, a nice, nice little handle, right? So there you go. The other nice thing about this, which I really, really like, are these holes right here. So this. If I'm cooking pasta, let's say, or something that I need to drain, well, guess what? Now I have a strainer as well. Multi-purpose, it's great, all right? So stick that on the stove, boil my stuff, drain it out, bing, bang, boom, great. Now, there is something that I haven't shown you on here yet, and that is these right here. Now you might be thinking, what the heck is that? Well, this is the one little piece that I really like. I mean, I was gonna get one of these, and then I got one of these, which was great. And it comes with a lid, which is great. And then, then I have one other piece that was fantastic. And this, uh, I'm sorry, I just hit my mic on there. If it sounds blah, I apologize. Comes with this. Now you might be thinking, what the heck is that? Well, um, this is what is commonly referred to as a fish, uh, fish mouth spreader. And uh, fishermen use things like this to open up the mouths of fish to pull out uh, lures if they're really in there. Um, there's different types of, um, different types of these, but it's essentially kind of functions in the same way. However, what is particularly great about that is if I want to hang my water instead of into the fire, I can hang it because it has a loop, which means if I have a, uh, if I have a, um, a tripod with a chain where I can hang something above, like a pot, I can hang a pot of, which I do, by the way, or if... I want to use this. Now I have this option as well. Now I do need to open this up a little bit, tighten it up, put that in, bang. Now I have another pot that doesn't necessarily have to go into the fire. It now can go over the fire and it's good to go. And I can pull these back here Right now with this one, I can't put the lid on because of the, because of these, sorry, I just hit my mic again. Um, I can't put the lid on, but if I wanted to boil something in the morning just to heat the water up instead of boil, yeah, perfect thing right here. So this little setup I think is wonderful. It's just a wonderful little piece of kit um, and it all fits very nicely together. This can go right inside so I don't lose it. The lid goes on. This here can go underneath, okay? And then it all goes right back into the fantastic mesh bag that they have. All right, Gearland, great product. If you happen to be watching this, Gearland, and you feel like, you know what, I want to support a little channel, well, reach out to me, um, put a comment down below, and I will be happy to get back to you. I do have, I am in, just by side note, I actually am in conversation with uh, Claymore Korea. They are the ones that I created the, um, I, I did the review for the headlamp. I'll leave a link in that uh, at the end of the video. And they reached out to me and we've been talking back and forth about potentially having some uh, items shipped to me for uh, personal review. So yeah, uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen in the future, but 
it would be great if it did. Gearland, if you got anything else and you want to send it my way, I would be happy to take them. Happy, of course, to review for you. Um, so there you go. Uh, Gearland, here's the box. Check it out. Uh, I will leave the Amazon link, in, uh, Amazon affiliate link in the description below. This is not particularly expensive. I think it was about $25 US. Uh, with shipping, it's a little bit more, of course. Um, but, you know, there you go. 25 bucks. Nalgene bottles, going to be about the same amount, but I've got all that extra stuff. So why wouldn't I do that? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, the review. Don't forget, hit the sub, hit the bell for notifications for weekly videos. Coming your way, my Korea Overland brothers and sisters, Sunday, 4 p.m. KST. I hope you had a great one. Take care, everybody, and have a great day. Bye-bye now.